guess it ain't no nice way to tell you niggas it's game over, huh? these plates up man so now we have to remove the tensioner pulley that's on this side that's giving tension to the timing chain and that will not allow the water pump to come out right now so we have to get tension the wall first there's a little small pin inside the tensioner you got to push the piston in and push something inside the hole to actually hold the piston in from coming back out. And this right here is very, very important. You do not want none of these bolts to drop inside the engine block. If it does, it'll drop inside the engine block and it won't harm the engine, but then you have a, you have a problem trying to get those bolts back to reassemble the water pump and also the tension to pull it. So if you can, you can get you a, um, I wish, uh, what you can do is you can you can you can uh, hopefully you have a, a set of tools that's magnetized. So we take those bolts through that actually sticks to it, magnetized. Or if not, um, man, you might better put a, a dab of silicone inside to ratchet. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, what's going on? Let me back at it again. As you guys can see, the rain came out of nowhere, so we had to stop and postpone it. The car is all wet, the ground is all wet. It's got to be a little clearer. Alright, um, this right here is the tensioner. Tensioner what? It's, it's a tensioner. It gives tension <laughs> to the tensioner and goes to the chain. Make a long story short, as you can see, there's a piston that's in here. Be very, very careful when you remove this because the bolts that's here, you don't want them to fall inside, like I said, the time and chain cover. And the reason why this uh, paper, clip. paper clip it's in here is to hold the, 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 the cylinder, the, 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 the piston back. So when you install this, you install it like this, put the bolts in, and you just pull the clip, the piston comes out, and it gives tension back to the, the tensioner and the chain. So this is out. Now, what we're going to do right now, this is the water pump. We're going to go ahead and remove the water pump. It sits in the exact same way you see it. This is the way it sits in. So this water pump is not going to be, it's not going to come out on its own. So what you have to do is, you have to take two bolts from the, um, the, um, the, um, tensioner. tensioner. From the tensioner assembly, you got to take two bolts from out of that. And you have to go ahead and uh, hand pull it, you know, hand tighten it in here. And what you, what this is going to do is, this is going to allow this bottom end, this uh, this this side of the boat to sit flush with the bar, uh, sit flush with the block, and it's not going to throw it in. So when it, when, what that does is it allows it to have pressure, and allows it to make the water pump walk out. You want to use these two ends right here, just the way you see it. You want to use these these uh, these two ends. So you go a little ways here, a little ways there, a little ways here, a little ways there, and it'll walk itself out. And then when it walks out, you say, well, you been all day. Why is dinner not ready? I'll keep you guys posted and updated, man. Let me go ahead and take this water pump out before the rain come back again. To my birth? Yes, pretty much. Okay, go. Uh, when you when you when you remove from the water pump, you want to just take your time with this one, because like I said, you gotta give a few turns on the top bolt. And you can count it one, two, three, four, five. Uh, gotta find the hole, find the bolt. 
one, two, three, four, five, and then the pump should come right out. Now, this is going to be the tricky part to get it to come straight up and out. No, this is literally the tricky part, for real, for real. <laughs> Don't stop recording, my bad. This is real life stuff, son. Huh? She's kicking his ass. No, no, for real, for real. This is the beginning of my ass. Hey, bloopers. Blooper reel. And cut. Go. This is literally kicking my ass for real, man. These fucking imports. Ah! Now you can tell <laughs> by the way this thing looks that whoever had this car before, they're not using antifreeze. This is straight water. It's not good to use water only, man. This is a dealer, this is a dealer item. You can't even see the O-ring on this thing no more. Wow. This pump is still good, you know. Because normally when the pump is bad, you can hear it when you spin it. And if you guys are wondering where the water was coming from, it's coming to the bleed hole. Yes, yeah, Nissan. This is actually a dinner part. I'm going to hold on to this as a souvenir. So like I said, you see what I do with the screws? This is how I walk the pump out. I screwed this, screw this one in a little bit. I tilted it. Screwed it in. I straightened it. Screwed it in. I tilted it. Straightened, screw, straightened, screw. And it came right out. So now... Here comes the easy part, to reassemble everything. So now we have the new water pump. Like I said, it goes in just like this, the same way you see it. So what you want to, what you want to do while you have the pump out, and also don't forget, as soon as you remove this pump, depending on how much water you have inside your engine block, the water will drop out and go directly inside the oil pan. Now, I've been doing this today for the first time, but what I, what I chose to do was, instead of draining the oil right away, I left the oil inside the oil pan, because everybody knows the oil and water doesn't mix. Oil and water does not mix. So the, uh, the water will stay right above the oil. So the oil, damn, what the fuck, are, the point is, man, when the water goes inside the oil pan, it's gonna sit with the oil. When you drain everything out together, everything will come out. If you drain the oil first and then you remove the water pump, the water that's inside the engine will go inside the oil pan and all of it might not come out. So then you have a problem with water being inside the oil pan and you might have to press out the oil two times. That's going to be a waste of money. So what I just, what I decided to do was just to leave the oil inside the oil pan and then drain the oil and the water out together and then fill it with new oil and then new antifreeze. But let me go ahead and get this uh this new pump assembled so we can go ahead and put this back together before the rain comes down. When you get your new oil your oil pump, it's gonna come with two different size gases inside of it. Water pump. Fuck. You know what's hot out here. When you get your new <laughs> when you get your new water pump, it's gonna come with two different size gaskets. You're gonna have a bigger one for the uh, for the outside. This is for the oil. The one on the one that's in here is actually for the water. Yeah, the pipe's shot behind in the face down.